Hi, this is Friday the 21st of January, Friday afternoon the 21st of January. This is the Democratic Alliance Labour Report. Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate it. Please convey this to your friends, family, onto your Facebook, I would appreciate that as well. I'm going to discuss one topic only uh, today. Um, I normally discuss the various topics of the labour situation in South Africa, but one I think is very important, and that's the employment of foreign nationals, some of the law behind this, some of the emotion behind it, why it has arisen, uh, why is the EFF using this as a whipping boy, and, and what's the situation. So I wanted to go straight into it. Thank you once again uh, for listening to me. It's Friday afternoon, the 21st of January, 21. It's Michael Bagram. I'm the Labour spokesperson for the Democratic Alliance, and we're discussing the employment of foreign nationals in South Africa. Um, you might have read about it in the press, heard about it on radio or television, seen some horrific pictures, seen some downloads of the harassment of employers. Um, it is a topic and it's something that I think is causing a lot of xenophobia. Now let's first go backwards a little bit and let's have a look at the law. Um, and I don't want to give you a full law lecture, but we are all in South Africa and we're all subject to the South African Constitution. And the South African Constitution, to summarize on the law situation with regard to employment of individuals, is that all employees in South Africa are entitled to fairness, to fair labor practice, and it's all employees. It doesn't say all South African citizens or South African employees, it says all employees. And you're entitled to that fair labor practice. Of course, the Constitution itself is not the uh, final document because the Constitution then obviously enjoins the Parliament to have legislation um, to follow up and to put into practice what you see in the Constitution. And so one of those pieces of legislation is the Employment Equity Act. Now, although the Democratic Alliance is not entirely happy with the Employment Equity Act and in particular quotas and that sort of thing, uh, it goes against the grain altogether, it's social engineering. But in terms of that Employment Equity Act, it does specifically outline that all employees are equal under the law. Again, it takes what the Constitution has to say, it unpacks it, and it gives everyone rights and duties, it gives all the employers rights and duties. So when you look at that Equity Act, it shows you exactly what rights and duties employees have, that includes foreign nationals. Um, so once a person has the right to work in South Africa, in other words, they're here legally, and that they, in terms of their legal um, access to South Africa, they also have a work permit. Now, many, obviously, many, many uh, employees in the country don't have work permits. Uh, if you're South African, obviously, you don't need one. But if you're a foreign national, you do need one. And employers who employ people without a work permit, and they are foreign nationals, that's a criminal offence. The employer could be prosecuted. The employer could even go to jail, pay a massive fine, and that employee would then be deported. So you need to look very carefully if you are an employer um, about your employment of that individual. There are unfortunately also many, many people who are being presented with work permits that are forgeries. I've seen that. Um, what I am doing at the moment um, is that people are writing to me as the Deputy Shadow Minister of Employment for the Democratic Alliance. People are writing to me saying these are the work permits that have been presented to us. I'm in turn writing to the Department of Employment and Labor and asking them for feedback as to whether these work permits are valid or not. Uh, unfortunately, the department is dysfunctional and they're not coming back uh, to tell us whether the work permits are valid or not. But sometimes you can see it's not a valid work permit and then you have to ensure that you don't employ those people. Now, if in fact a person has got a valid work permit and they have got valid employment and they are qualified to do the job, you can't dismiss them. You can't push them out. You can't say, well, I've had problems and so we need to employ more South Africans. Forget about it. You can't do that. And if you do it, you'll be following a bad course. You'll be attacked for unfair labor practice. 
and probably end up at the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation, and Arbitration, the CCMA. So don't do that. If in fact you've discovered that someone doesn't have a work permit and they are employed, you then need to go through an exercise telling them that either they get a work permit within a certain date or unfortunately you have to go through a dismissal. Uh, and that you must do properly and in line with the legislation. You can't just say go away. Uh, that you can't do and you need to ensure that that person then faces a proper fair hearing about it. If in fact the person knew that they didn't have a work permit and they lied to you, then you would dismiss them for that lie. If they knew that they had a forged work permit, again you would dismiss them for that forgery because they, you, your trust relationship as an employer has fallen apart. So you need to look at that very carefully. If however the person thought they had a work permit and it is, actually isn't a valid one, and many people, I've spoken to two people last week who thought they had valid work permits. They said they went to the department, they spoke to an official, well it wasn't, obviously wasn't an official, and they paid 500 Rand for the work permits. They thought that was what you had to do. Uh, and I've cross-examined them at length. They both believe they had work permits they don't have. We've now had to go through an exercise of dismissal for operational requirements. We can't carry on employing them uh, through my clients um, as a lawyer. So the reality is that this uh, bandwagon that the EFF has now jumped on is trying to make the EFF uh, relevant in some odd way. They don't have any policies. The EFF has no, no function really in society. Uh, they're there to cause as much trouble as they can, and I don't understand it, but they are now arriving at restaurants demanding to see paperwork. They're not entitled to have a look at the paperwork. It's illegal. Um, the individuals who are in the records um, are protected by the Poppy Act, the Poppy Act. And the reality is that only people who can investigate employment records are the inspectorate from the Department of Employment and Labour. So the message is out there to all employers. Don't get harassed, don't get bullied, don't let a political party arrive at your doorstep and demand to see things. Call the police, call the Department of Labour, or even call the Democratic Alliance. We can possibly help you in those circumstances. So thank you once again for listening to me. It's Friday afternoon, the 21st of January, 2022. It's Michael Bagram on behalf of the Democratic Alliance. Thank you.